forget to hit the notification bell when you are done. Today, I'm going to show you how to prepare a choma. Some call it mamiro dendeng in Kumase, others also call it chin chin. A choma is a donut like baked dough of wheat flour and other customary baking items. It is very crunchy and delicious. To prepare my achomon, I will show you the ingredients I'll be using today. First of all, I have my two cups of flour which I'll be sweating. I also have my sugar, a cup of sugar. I'll be adding my baking powder and a teaspoon of salt. Now when I'm done, I will be setting my flour to make sure it doesn't leave any lump in my flour. After mixing all the dry ingredients together, you add in your evaporated milk. Do this little at a time to check the consistency. A tablespoon full of my vanilla essence. You can use any essence of your choice too. Now you mix your dough together to get a very nice texture. I'll then sprinkle a little flour onto my work surface and transfer my dough onto it. I've already washed and cleaned the surface. If you use milk powder instead of evaporated milk, don't forget to add water to your flour. You then work your dough by kneading it for about 5 to 10 minutes. So you'll get a smooth consistency. this to rest for about two to five minutes. I then cut my dough into smaller pieces. If you can roll everything at a bowl, kindly do that. But if you can't, feel free to also cut it into smaller shapes so that rolling becomes easier. be going in for this size and then do same with the other ones For the traditional achomon, you take one like this, divide it into two, as I have done here. I did not cut it through, but then I left a portion over right there so that I twist it like this. And then after, I will just combine the tip like this and put it down. You continue doing same to the rest. If your dough is puffy, you will get the crispy achomo. And we all know achomo to be giri giri. So you do like this again, you 
twist and then you combine the tip together. Cut through and twist it again. You do same to all the others. Cut your dough into this shape and then use a knife to cut it into smaller sizes. You can use a scissor to cut it as well or even use your hand to take smaller sizes like this and then you shape it. You take a smaller size, you shape it. This, you can either bake or fry it. But then, with a traditional achomo, I'll be frying Once I'm still cutting my dough, I will then pour oil into my saucepan for deep frying. I would continue doing what I was doing so my oil is hot before adding my ache. You place the achumon inside the oil. Don't forget to leave it gently inside the oil as it can splatter on you. Once it's golden brown, you take it out of the oil. I then move on to fry the other one. Now our chumon is ready. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much lovely people for watching. Bye bye, my mute ding ding. <laughs>